In this video we look at the FP3 work on power series. We need to find, be able to find the Maclaurin series and the Taylor series for a function and we need to be able to apply those power series to approximations. There's a lot of useful information in the formula booklet which first of all will tells us what the Maclaurin series and the Taylor series for a function are and then there's a really useful list of the Maclaurin series for several commonly occurring functions. So let's now have a look at some examination examples on power series. So the first one comes from the 2012 paper and we are asked to find the Taylor series for tan to the minus 1 of x about the point x equals 1. Now the Taylor series for f of x about the point x equals 1 is f of 1 plus f dash 1 or the first derivative of f at 1 times by x minus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial times f double dash 1 times x minus 1 squared plus 1 over 3 factorial or 6 times f triple dash 1 third derivative of f at 1 times x minus 1 cubed etc. So we have f of x is tan to the minus 1 of x so f of 1 is tan to the minus 1 of 1 which is pi by 4. f dash x the derivative of f is 1 over 1 plus x squared so the value of f dash 1 is 1 over 1 plus 1 squared which is a half. Using either the chain rule or the quotient rule we can find that the second derivative of f is minus 2x over 1 plus x squared squared so the second derivative of f at x equals 1 is minus 2 over 2 squared which gives me minus a half. For the third derivative we're going to have to do a quotient rule and probably a chain rule as well. So we've got the derivative of minus 2x is minus 2 times by the bottom. Take away the top minus 2x times by the derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of the bottom, well I've got 1 plus x squared squared, the derivative of 1 plus x squared is 2x and the derivative of something squared is 2 times a something. So I've got 2x times by 2 times 1 plus x squared so the derivative of 1 plus x squared squared is 4x times 1 plus x squared. And all of that has got to be over the bottom squared. So that's over 1 plus x squared to the power 4. There's no real need to simplify this because all we need is the value of f, the third derivative of f, at x equals 1. So if we substitute in x equals 1 at this stage, we've got minus 2 times 2 squared, which gives me minus 8. Minus or minus means it's going to be plus 2 times 4 times 2, which is 16. Over 1 plus 1 is 2 to the power 4 is 16. So we've got minus 8 plus 16 over 16, which gives me a half. So we now know that the Taylor series for f of x is f of 1, which is pi by 4, plus f dash 1, that's a half, times x minus 1, plus a half times f double dash 1, so that's a half times minus a half, which is minus a quarter of x minus 1 squared, plus 1 sixth of f triple dash 1, and f triple dash 1 is a half, so a sixth of times a half is a twelfth of x minus 1 cubed which means that we've got p is a quarter pi, q 
Q is a half, R is minus a quarter, and S is one twelfth. So the marking for this question, first mark is simply for finding that um, f of 1 is pi by 4. In other words, the value of p is pi by 4. The second mark, we've got a differentiation of f, and then the value of f dash 1, and that gives us two marks. The next two marks are for obtaining f double dash x, and then the value of f double dash 1, and the final two marks for finding f triple dash x and consequently f triple dash 1 and then just writing down the values of p, q, r and s. The second example comes from the 2010 paper. We have the function f of x is the natural logarithm of 1 plus shine x and we need to find the first three non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for f of x. Well, the Maclaurin series for a function is f of naught plus f dash naught times x plus f double dash naught over 2 factorial times x squared plus f triple dash naught over 3 factorial x cubed and so on. Now we need to remember we need to find the first three non-zero terms in this case. If f of x is ln of 1 plus shine x, then f of naught is the natural logarithm of 1, which is 0. Differentiating using the chain rule, we get the first derivative of f is cosh x over 1 plus shine x. So f dash naught is 1 over 1 plus nothing, which is 1. need to differentiate again and this will certainly require the quotient rule so differentiating using the quotient rule we get derivative of cosh x is shine x times by the bottom minus the top left alone cosh x times the derivative of the bottom which is also cosh x over the bottom squared in this case it is well worth our while tidying that expression up because we're going to have to differentiate again in order to get the third non-zero term in the power series. So simplifying that out, the top is shine x plus shine squared x minus cosh squared x. Cosh squared x minus shine squared x is 1, so shine squared x minus cosh squared x is minus 1. So we've got f double dash x is shine x minus 1 over 1 plus shine x squared. So f double dash naught is going to be minus 1 over 1 squared, so that's minus 1 over 1, which is minus 1. So we need one, we've got one more differentiation to do then. We've got f double dash x is shine x minus 1 over 1 plus shine x squared. So again, using the quotient rule, differentiate the top, we get cosh x, multiply it by the bottom. Take away the top left alone, times by the derivative of the bottom, and to find the derivative of the bottom we need to do a little chain rule. Derivative of 1 plus shine x is just cosh x, the derivative of something squared is 2 times a something. So we've got for the second term on the top, we've got shine x minus 1 times by cosh x times 2 times 1 plus shine x. And all of that needs to be over the bottom squared. Now this in this case, there is no point doing any um, simplification because we need to find the value of the third derivative when x equals naught. So putting x equals 0 in, we've got 1 times 1 squared, which is 1, minus 0, take away 1, so that's minus minus 1, so that's plus 1, times 1, times 2, all over 1 to the power 4. 
So we're ending up simply with f, the third derivative of f at 0 is equal to 3. So the Maclaurin series is f of naught plus f dash naught x plus f double dash naught over 2 factorial x squared plus f triple dash naught over 3 factorial times x cubed, etc. So in this case that is naught plus 1x minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus 3 over 3 factorial times x cubed or x minus a half x squared plus a half x cubed. The fact that we have got both odd and even powers of x in the Maclaurin series means that the function can't be odd because an odd function would only have odd powers in its Maclaurin series and the function can't be even because an even function would only have even powers in the Maclaurin series. We've now got to use our result from part 1 of A to get an approximate value for the solution of natural logarithm of 1 plus shine x equals 10x squared. Well, we know that the natural logarithm of 1 plus shine x is pretty close to x minus a half x squared plus a half x cubed if x is small. So the equation we've got is can be written as x minus a half x squared plus a half x cubed has got to be very close to 10x squared. In other words, we want x minus 10.5x squared plus 0.5x cubed to be very close to 0. And if we factorise that through, we've got either x is 0 or we've got um, 1 minus 10.5x plus 0.5x squared to be 0 which gives me solutions of 20.904 or 0.0957. But this approximation is only really valid if x is a small value. So the small va we're looking for the small positive root. So the small positive root that we're looking for is x equals 0.0957. So the small positive root to two significant figures is 0.096. The marking on this question, one mark for finding that f of naught was equal to naught, then two marks for finding f dash x and the value of f dash naught, two more marks for doing the second derivative of f and finding the second derivative of f at 0 is minus 1, two more marks for considering the third derivative of f and finding that f, the third derivative of f at 0 is equal to 3 and then two more marks for writing down the Maclaurin series. One final mark on part A is for then explaining why f of x cannot be either an odd function or an even function. For part B the first mark was simply for setting up this equation here by replacing the function by its Maclaurin series and then moving down to solve the, this equation here and obtain the roots gained the second mark and the third mark then was for stating that the small positive root is going to be close to 0 0.096